great human being. Down below in the comments, y'all put y'all's favorite jump shots throughout the whole year. Your favorite fades. Within this video, man, I'm going to be showing you the best fades in 2K23, current gen and next gen. Works for both. And the best jump shots in current gen and next gen. The best shooting badges. The best settings. Everything that got it. The best shot release timing everything that gotta do with shooting man i have a hundred one percent look y'all see that no squad record y'all see that no squad i do that lie i go into no squad with randoms and i win every game y'all know that's how you really test yourself because if you play with randoms if you miss they're not giving you the ball back i'm running point i'm carrying randoms i'm dogging pk okay? i'm the best shooter in the game listen to these tips it will help you and share this video man if you got a homie who can't shoot bro i i know <laughs> i play with randoms bro 80% of the community cannot shoot at all, bro. That's why jump shot videos get so many views. But look, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. And listen up, man, before I give you the best fades, okay? And I'm gonna teach you how to fade. I want to put y'all onto this. Shot release timing is the most important thing in this whole video. Put it on very late. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Makes it easier to time your shot, bro. If you don't think this is true, just pick a random timing. Just do this and go into a game and make sure it's different from what your normal release timing is. And you'll you'll see what's going to happen, my boy. You'll see what's going to happen. Take off your trigger effect, okay? In your PlayStation and in the game, okay? You can have your vibration on. I love vibration. But the trigger effect, I hear it all the time when I play with randoms. Even young kids. I thought it was only an old head thing. It's a sickness. You have to take this off. It will destroy you as a player bro it's too much it's broken okay we grown we don't need stuff vibrating in our hand man come on man straight and narrow <laughs> and by the way y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you want more tips for uh 2k24 and 2k23 all the best tips etc man i will always be giving that to y'all hey now look this is actually a good jump shot okay this is a new jump shot. It just came out. This is a good jump shot. It's very easy to time and everything, man. Try this out. Get back to your boy. Something new, new jumper you can rock. It seemed very easy to hit with, my guy. Um, that Chauncey Billups is horrible. Um, it's for small guards. They made it super slow. You can't even turn that to A plus release speed. Do not use that. And I hear the Patrick Ewing, Ewing is good, but I ain't got a, a 610 plus bill. So y'all let everybody know down in the comment section how y'all feel about the Patrick Ewing. Now this Russell Westbrook fade is actually pretty decent, man. Like you can really green with this hoe pretty good. So, you know, test it out, you know? Might not be like top three, but it's, it's pretty good. Like it's easy to green with, man. It's something different, you know? It's a little quick. Now look, the best fade for bigger builds, man, is Devin Booker, bar none, okay? Devin Booker is the best fade in the game, trust me, okay? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something that you don't know. Figure out what hand your my player is, okay? If you are right-handed, if your my player is right-handed, always fade to the right, Okay, for all the bots and you know, for all y'all people, that is the easiest fade to hit in the game. Turbo fading is a little harder than not turbo fading, okay? But if you do same hand, you can make it almost every time. It's a very easy fade. Now the skill gap is when you can fade both sides, right? If you could fade off ball hand, then, you know, that's the difference. But learn your main side hand and you'll be able to fade like a comp player. Even the compiest players in the game, the stage can only fade one way. They really can't hit that other fade. The difference is when you can, okay? Booker is amazing on current and next, bro. Promise. Now for small builds, the best fade would be Trey Young. Remember, if you're struggling with fading, try like make try like speed boosting and then letting go a turbo right you get different animation and stuff you got to angle fade all that different type of stuff but you can do the turbo fade to the same side and be gucci but you might need to let let off of it that that's the secret with fading bro 
A lot of people don't be uh, putting people on, man. So remember, and tell, tell your homies, fade to your strong hand and you'll get quicker, you'll, you'll, you'll get better release. Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button if you're praying that uh, 2K24 is going to be a good game, man. Even though we know it's not. Anywho, this jump shot right here is part of the holy trinity. I'm going to be, you know, letting y'all know the most popular ones. But this jump shot right here is the best jump shot in the game. I don't care what nobody said. Best jump shot in the game. If you are a 6'5 plus build, use this jump shot, okay? If you can't get these releases, you can use other releases. It's the base. Brissette is the easiest jump shot to hit with, bro. I'm telling you, bar none. Even if you're a spot up build, bro, use this jump shot and you will see. Now this jump shot right here, I'm not finishing the Holy Trinity. This jump shot right here is this, is the hardest jump shot to contest. So if you are a spot up, um, etc., uh, I would say go with this jump shot because you know you could shoot over guards or whatever or just in general even if you're a big guard bro it's not as good as brissette but it's a very broken shot where it's hard for people to contest you okay so if you're in the corner you know people always play off they man bro you already are already going back you're basically uncontested so if you can master butler it could be a really op devious jump shot bro Okay, it's easy to hit with and everything. A lot of people think this is um, the best jump shot in the game. It's very consistent. You can even use it for smaller uh, builds and um, you can get real good with it. A lot of top players use it. And by the way, I don't use release cues. Um, I go off a of feeling, okay? Release cues, it makes you slow down. It makes you read too much to where you're not gonna get off shots quickly. You have to remember your load up animations and the stamina you have and then predict your release timing and that's how you be able to shoot like me, okay? If you use cues, it's not, it's, it's you're gonna be delayed and there's gonna be so much going on that you're not gonna be able to visualize the incoming pressure and that exact cue is too much for the average bot, okay? So that's why I have a way easier time. I remember the load up, the stamina. So like, I remember like, oh, I got three fourths. Oh, I got half. Oh, I got one fourth. So the time it should be like this. And I, ha I have those muscle memories in me somewhat, but it's more of a predictability. And that's how you get it down, bro. That's the difference. But yeah another immaculate jump shot okay let me finish showing y'all the holy trinity and the kyle kuzma a lot of people think this is the uh best jump shot in the game too but i still think brissette is the best okay this is the holy trinity now here is um the fastest jump shot in the game man uh, all the comp players use this jump shot and we got mellow here's another dope uh jump shot for small builds Test it out, man. There's no way y'all guys should still be missing, man. Seriously. Everyone should be able to shoot, bro. All you gotta do is take the time to learn to shoot. Please spread this. I'm tired of the community not being able to shoot, bro. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, Everything I'm that made me now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.